Now the staff here at Hodgson's Pharmacy are taking all the precautions they can by wearing face masks and visors and these protective screens have been installed so customers collecting prescriptions can be rest assured that they're safe as well. But while they're doing all they can to help us, they're asking for a little bit more support when inevitably this protective gear runs out. It's, it's a shame that I'm having to spend so much time searching for PPE to obtain when I should be serving my patients, getting the medicines, you know, providing healthcare advice. So it is a bit of a frustration in that respect. You know, rightly so, hospitals are getting it, they're being prioritised. But I think also other sectors like GPs are getting it, maybe above pharmacists from what I'm hearing. And they've, but they've, a lot of GPs have closed their doors, whereas our doors are open. We, so we, we do need it as a priority and we have been forgotten in that respect, I do think. And again, it's an added cost to the business, which when we're already struggling financially, um, it's, it's a cost we really don't need. And that cost has come from having to source the kit privately because they simply weren't getting enough from the government. But the short supply of PPE hasn't stopped them from working, with staff making sacrifices in order to ensure patients can still access their prescriptions. I mean, I've got a two-month, there's now three-month-old baby at home, and it's, it's, been, it's been tough to think about, you know, going home and potentially putting my family at risk. So it is tough, but um, we are here on the front line uh, during this crisis. A lot of other healthcare professionals have sort of closed their doors. You know, they might be doing by telephone and so on, but we are the only frontline healthcare professional, I think, still on the front line with an open door for you to come and get healthcare advice, for you to come and get your medicines and a general overall well-being, you know, looking after you from top to bottom. So Amish and his team are certainly some of the unsung heroes during this crisis, keeping our inhalers, insulin and vital medicines coming. But they need their own regular remedy too, in the form of PPE. This is Joe Caution for KMTV.